Well, hey guys, and welcome to the third day of Christmas video series that I'm putting out. If you're watching this and you just think I look like a crazy person and you're not sure why I'm wearing an elf hat and maybe it's June of 2022 or 2027, who knows how far in the future you're watching this, I have really good news for you. The concept I'm gonna talk about is not gonna change in this video, even though this is part of our holiday series of videos. Today, I'm gonna to talk about bootleg reinforcement and then give you a mock question about bootleg reinforcement at the end to help you pass your BCBA exam. So stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back. So if this is your first time watching the video of the series, I do have two other videos, part of the 12 days of Christmas, which um, they're gonna be right there. So you can just take a look at them if you haven't watched them yet. Today, we're gonna to talk about bootleg reinforcement. So we've been having me drinking wine as a theme through this video series. Now, I'm not sure, I don't really drink crazy amounts of wine, but we just started with it and we went with it. So we're gonna to talk today about bootleg reinforcement. So I actually had decided that if I went to yoga five days this week, then I was going to um, buy myself a brand new bottle of wine, my favorite wine, not the cheap wine I usually drink from Whole Foods, but like the good stuff um, from the winery on Saturday. So that was the deal that I made for myself. And then so Monday comes, I go to yoga. Tuesday comes, I go to yoga. Wednesday comes, I go to yoga. Thursday comes, I go to yoga. Now Friday comes and my friends want to go for a hike. And I'm like, well, that's kind of in the spirit of exercise, right? We're in the spirit of Christmas and hiking's in the spirit of exercise. So I'm going to go to do hiking. And then Saturday comes around and I had said part of my self-management strategy, right? If I were to give myself do yoga five days, Monday through Friday, I'm going to get my bottle of wine. Now, Saturday comes along and I'm like, wait a second, I didn't really do yoga five days, but you know, it's okay. I tried, I did it four days and, and I did work out. I don't think I didn't work out. I mean, it's not like I just went and saw a movie. I, I did do exercise. So I'm just going to give myself the one anyway. Well, that is bootleg reinforcement. Essentially, when you give yourself or you get reinforcement, this can either be part of self-management, which is most commonly used associated with, but it could be socially mediated reinforcement. It's when you get reinforcement that you didn't earn because you kind of did a good job and either you think you should get it or the person thinks you should get it anyway, just for trying hard. So that is what bootleg reinforcement is. Now we're gonna look at a mock question that's going to help you to understand how to dissect a question about bootleg reinforcement if you get one on your BCBA exam. All right guys, well, let's look at the question here. It says, Jessica is on a new diet. She promised herself she would eat a salad every day this week and as a reward, she would get a bottle of wine. She missed eating a salad Thursday, but she ate two salads Saturday. She rewarded herself with wine at the end of the week. Which type of reinforcement is this? Well, you should know because we just talked about it and it's the title of the video. But bonus question here, and this is a little tricky. It may not be what you first think it is. What type of reinforcement would it be had I actually earned that reinforcement? Drop your comment, your answer in the comments, and then I will explain it to you if you do not pick the right answer. Then in the comments below. So happy holidays, happy studying, and I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next video.